Chris Zuck, Jamie Gerber, Alan Matz. So Nick. hold on a second here. I'm here with Shane Sinnott of OBQs, and I want, I want you to tell me about this OB lift cue. What about it? Like, uh, can you tell me what kind of joint that is? Uh, well, it's a 3 8 10 joint. Uh, the cue is stained midnight blue. It's got a one-piece shaft. It's got a low deflection ferrule. It's got an OB jump tip, which is a basically a phenolic hybrid. It's our own tip. It's our own mix. We basically wanted to come up with something that got the ball up in the air but was accurate. That was really the big thing was not trying to create more lift, ironically. I mean, obviously, the ball has to get up in the air, but we just wanted something that was accurate. That was that was yeah. really what it came down to. Okay. So that's what we focused okay. on. That's cool. And how much is going to retail at? You said there's a 150 version and a... There's two, there's two cues. There's the OB Lift and then the OB Lift Pro. The, the Lift is a one-piece butt that retails for 150 and then the Lift Pro is a two-piece butt that retails for 200 Yeah. The one-piece butt is uh, 12 inches. The Obviously, the shaft is 29, so it's a 41-inch cue. And then we have the OB Lift Pro mm. is also a 12-inch butt with an, an additional 6-inch piece on the back. Hey, so do you want to think of a POV pool promotion or something and see if we can get these guys come to the expo? And <laughs> well, whatever. Maybe, potentially. Yeah. Let, me, let me sleep on it. Maybe we can come up with something tomorrow. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. So that's great. And uh, Shane and the OBQ crew are here at the uh, Super Billiards Expo. What's the booth number? Uh, you know what? We have four booths together. I don't. Uh, I think one of them is 313. I don't remember off the top of my head what the, the numbers are. But if you walk into the Super Billiards Expo, mm -hmm. there's actually a sign uh, right beside the front door that says OBQ's inside on the right beside the Pro Arena. Yeah. If you walk in the door and just turn your head to the right, you'll see a huge banner uh, basically up at the top of the arena. And we're right by the Pro Arena, so you can't miss us. Yeah. Does your game need a lift? I like this name. It's good. Yeah. It's good. And the and the cues are amazing already. So I can't imagine what the jump cue is going to be like. Jump cues are good. We've we've had really really good feedback on them today. We we actually had a lot of pros come by and try them out. Uh, Mike DeShane was trying it earlier. Uh, Jason Shaw. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Any feedback from those guys? Yeah. I, I, it, you know what's funny is when you think about a jump shot, you don't think of the word soft. But when a guy tells you that it hits really soft, and it's a good thing. In a jump cue, that's that's and it's actually a compliment because you know jump cues traditionally hit really hard. They have a really kind of pingy, loud sound, yeah. and you kind of feel like you're just losing control the second that tip hits anywhere other than the center of the cue ball. Yeah. So when it hits soft and you feel like you have control over it, you actually feel like you have an opportunity to not only make the shot but control the cue ball, and that's really what. A so they're is saying about. like almost like. You know that new tip that came out, like a G10 tip? Does sure. it feel like the softness of a G10? Do you know when you're breaking with a G10, it's a little softer you know than phenolic? You gotta ask Maybe. a pro. Yeah. Send a couple of pros over. Yeah. All right, buddy. Yeah. Awesome. So the new OB Lift, folks. Check out obqs.com and check out the OB Lift Break Cue. That'd be awesome if you would just do that. Sure. <laughs> Thanks, Shane. Shane Sinnott, everyone. Six, seven,